first time directing your own script? Yes. Yes, very nice. Nice to have the freedom to go off and do that and um, also sort of take responsibility for it. So, you know, there's nobody else to blame. The responsibility is on my shoulder. If it's rubbish, uh, you know, I can't say it was the director's fault, uh, uh, you know, it's the writer, and I can't say it's the writer's fault, it's the director. So, um, so it's nice. And, uh, you know, and as a director, it's good because, like, um, uh, you know, people bring you things and they don't bring writers things. Like, nobody cares about a writer. You sit and, you know, you sit and kind of get your own licorice all sorts. But here, Slap my fingers again, Armand. Nice. Was it always for you to direct, or was it a case of you sort of were writing the script and then you thought, well, I don't want to let it go, it's got a particular tone and it needs me? No, I always wanted to direct it. I thought it's quite a personal film, you know, more than kind of Borat or Bruno, because obviously I'm not either a gay Austrian fashion reporter or a Kazakhstani journalist. So, um, so it was really, so, I, you know, I thought I could do it justice and I, I would worry about giving it over to somebody else because they may not, you know, execute it in the way that I want to execute it. And so it's a great, you know, it's a great advantage of, of, of being a writer and a director that you can, you know, you can see your vision through. And sometimes I've done things in the past where I've written things and uh, they've been executed not necessarily in the way that I wanted to. So now, now, you know, as I say, the blame rests firmly on my shoulders. And in terms of sort of bringing Anna and Simon into it, yeah. obviously, and Rose in fact, they have this international appeal that perhaps Rafe doesn't yet. Yes. How important is that for a film like this to sell it? Well, it's incredibly difficult to get a film made, you know, especially when you want to make it for, a, you know, a decent amount of money. And if people are going to spend millions and millions of pounds, they need to have some sort of guarantee that, that, that people will go and see it. And, um, you know, and obviously it's all about, uh, it's all about, you know, compromise and, and uh, getting the right people. And I really wanted Rafe, and in order to get Rafe, you know, we knew we needed to get some more international names in there. You know, and I was incredibly lucky to get brilliantly talented, amazing people who, uh, you know, enhance the film in every single way rather than, you know, rather than detract from it. Okay, thank you very much, Dan. It's a pleasure.